What's good? What's good? What's good? Let's discuss, man. This story is crazy to me. Check this out. So the four, the four friends, right, go to Mexico with McGee because she want to go get a tummy tuck. Hey, is, is your body do whatever you want to do? But be prepared traveling to Mexico. So they hop in their uh, minivan. On the way to the doctor's office, they get lost. No cell service. In Mexico. So, so they try to call the doctor office. Where the hell are you located? No cell service. So they're driving around in Mexico. Cartel country. They wind up in a shootout with the cartel. They didn't have no guns. It was two other cartels, whatever their name, who knows. So they are in the middle of this fight. And according to this article, the cartel assumed they are Haitian gang members on their turf trying to sell drugs, whatever. Those are the uh, reports. Just because dark skin and dreads, I'm, I got to be Haitian, right? But well, whatever. The cartel kills two of the black African Americans. Think about that. Black African Americans. They kill them. They wounded a third. They let the lady live who was going for the Tommy Tuck, but they killed them. The video is out there. I'm not going to play the video on this channel. The video is out there. Go look it up. But after shooting them, killing them, they toss all four of them in the back of a pickup like trash bags. Just walking around, no care in the world, dragging the dead bodies. What well, some sick fucks them cartels are, man. And McGee, the mother of five, you see the look on her face. What does this look say to you? The look says what the fuck just happened to me my family and friends. Trauma for life. Ain't no way she getting over that. Trauma for life for what? Go get, to go get a tummy tuck. Crazy, man. Crazy. Should have never happened. Should have never happened, man. Kind of makes you think GPS. Communicate with the doctor's office, what road to take. Is it safe to even go? I'm driving from South Carolina in this raggly ass van. Do I have a gun on me? All, all this stuff you should be thinking, but you got to cross over. Border security check, so no, they didn't have no weapons on them. It, all this stuff you got to think about. Traveling to Mexico. Is it safe to go? Now you're thinking, if I go to Mexico, oh, they don't fuck with black people. All right. The bullet in your head, you keep thinking that. So I'm going to show you the uh, news article where uh, uh, I got this from. And I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can check out that video that is posted all over the internet, man. 
So this is where I got the uh, article from. Like I said, I'm not gonna show the video. Yeah, you can you can find it easily. So after loading the people in the truck, right, to try to confuse the authorities so they will not be found, they was going from house to house, clinic to clinic. And to come to find out where they ended up last, this little boy was guarding them with no other people around. Little young narco in training. Can't be no more than 10. That she was going to get some work done, man. So now they're trying to pass laws to go after the Mexican drug cartels like they did the Colombians. All that type of stuff. Hopefully it works. But, but who knows, man.